We're turning to Japan now, where big strides have been made to digitize services as a replacement for hand-filled forms. Biprogy has developed the Surf In workflow solution that handles not only domestic and overseas remittances, but also tackles the time-consuming administrative burden of anti-money laundering requirements. Earlier this week, we spoke with Masato Yoshida, senior specialist at Biprogy, and he told us about his company profile and main products and services. Biprogy is one of the leading companies to provide banking systems in Japan. We also have a long history developing foreign exchange systems. So we have a strong relationship with SWIFT over 40 years. Mm. Well, it's your first time here, uh, Masato, at, at Cybos. I'm not sure if it's the same for Biproji itself, but talk me through the purpose of you guys' visit here in Toronto this year. What are you looking to get from the event uh, and what are you looking forward to at it? Yes. I'm very excited to join the Cybos. It is the very first time to come to this event. And I'm glad if I could meet potential future partners because our product is sold only for the domestic market. Mm. So uh, we are looking for chances to get into the overseas market. Hey, yeah, and tell us a little bit more about the product that you're responsible for specifically. Yes, for ISO 2022, we have developed a workflow system which name is Surfing. Surfing has three major functions. One is a web UI for bank customers to apply the remittance requests. And the second is the workflow, which is to enable to digitalize document-based internal processes. And the third is to automatically generate MX, MX messages. Traditionally, those systems, systems are separated on the legacy architecture. And so we have integrated as one system. So how would banks use this, this surfing uh, system? Talk us through some of the key features. Good question. At many banks in Japan, when they have remittance requests from customers, so many types of documents are required, such as um, customers requesting forms, checklist and some kind of reporting materials. They need those papers to carry out internal operations because AML regulation is so strict. So the process is getting much complicated more than before. Mm. Using Siphon, all the information is stored in the workflow system. So the process will be much easier. You just follow the screen you just for the guidance on the screen. Mm. And, and so, uh, you know, I'm surprised in 2023, you know, especially after COVID, so many things have gone digital, that there's still so much physical paperwork uh, involved in banking operations. Why yes, is that? Yes. You're right. Uh, I have estimated you know, how, much time, how much time it takes to handle each transaction. Mm. About one hour for the reception of the bank branch and another one hour for internal operations. It is very um, surprising that the uh, operation cost is very high, so the remittance fee keeps very expensive. Mm. Now, I know you guys are planning to start Business Connect in Japan. What's happening yes. here? Uh, yes, we have signed a contract, a neighbor program, a month ago, and plan to start uh, Business Connect on the next year. Uh, it is a big challenge for us. We expect that the strict connection between surfing and SWIFT network would be a big benefit to the banks and also bank customers. So what's the uptake been like? Have people been interested? Uh, are the sales doing well for surfing? Yes, sales conditions are very really good. Uh, we have already 20 of customers now. One of the customers is a globally major bank and other the regional banks. Uh, toward ISO 2022, we are making proposal to um, 40 to 50 customers now. Well, Masato, uh, we'd love to speak to you further, but you're a busy man with a lot of people to meet, a lot of conversations to have in the week ahead. But thank you so much for thank you so much. giving your time uh, on Cybos TV. And hopefully we'll see you again next year and for see many more years to come. All the best. <laughs>